going guys this is Philomath here on YouTube or flat out truth underscore 92 on TikTok here and I just kind of wanted to go over this uh, I went thrifting earlier with my wife and we came across what's known as the Nova Totius Terrarum Orbis Geographica Hydrographica Tabula wow that's a mouthful there so for anyone out there, uh, you know, familiar with this, of course, feel free to comment down below in the comment section with uh, any information you might have on this specific old world map. But uh, I just thought it, of course, caught my eye for a different variety of reasons. One being that uh, it seems to be a pretty old map. Uh, it says that it's around 16, uh, the early 1600s to 1630s is when this specific map was produced. But something interesting about this one uh, is if you notice, actually, most of the versions when you Google the Nova Totius Terrarum actually come up with more of a geo, uh, or heliocentric model. Uh, this one, of course, seems to me more geocentric. Um, not so much in these bottom uh, orbs, I guess you could say, down here at the bottom. Uh, definitely the topography of this specific map is much different than any kind of mainstream map that you would go off of. Uh, of course, you have a lot of esoteric, meaning secret, uh, symbolism going on with this map. Uh, you have the Greek gods uh, going all the way around the perimeter of the map. And then, of course, the most interesting part about this specific map that catches my eye is the bottom section, which seems to have a lot of old world slash Tartarian technology, Antiquitech technology buildings, if you will. And uh, let's get a little closer examination of some of these uh, pictures down here at the bottom. So, of course, we have the bottom far right, we have Pharos. And I, of course, need to go back and do some further evaluation on the specific names as we're going through just to get an actual... Um, dichotomy of what some of these words actually mean um, because I, I'm pretty sure most of these are going to be in Latin if I'm not mistaken but uh, from what we're, we can go off of just from looking at this one of course you have this uh, it looks to me like this island kind of going on here in the background and the spiral road leaning all the way out to this giant uh, spire slash castle and of course you have here to the left it looks to me it says uh, Jupiter Olympicus which also has that atypical or cliche version of Zeus, if you will, representing Jupiter directly in the center of the picture at the bottom. So let's continue here. And moving along here, it looks like we have the Plana, if I'm not mistaken, Templar. This almost looks reminiscent of Solomon's Temple. I could be completely off there, but it does look uh, very close to what any kind of depiction of Solomon's Temple would be from most people's perspective in their mind's eye. And as we move along here, we also have on this side, I believe it says Maso Loom. L-E-U-M, and of course it looks to me like another kind of pyramid-style building. You have that uh, Phoenician overtone to it. Um, it's got an almost dream-like dream -like quality to a lot of these pictures, uh, given just that air of mystery to it that we all have uh, come to know and love, with, of course, the occult imagery overlaid. And there's a little closer image of that same one we just went over. Yeah, this specific map had kind of a holographic feature. Um, you should be able to find this one specifically on the internet if you look it up. But like I said, uh, when you look up this one, you're more than likely going to get a more heliocentric version. Uh, so yeah, this one here, of course, you got more, it looks like spires or cath cathedrals, right? Or even something reminiscent to the pagoda uh, of the Asian side of the world. And 
it looks to me like some type of smoke cloud going on here in the background, uh, maybe reminiscent of some type of disaster, some type of cataclysm, not exactly sure. There's no telling exactly. Uh, it's definitely got some kind of occult overtone to it. Uh, moving on. And here we have what appears to be the Colossus of Rhodes. Uh, could be wrong there. Um, what's not to say that the story of the Colossus of Rhodes, which would be some kind of antiquitech, right? Or maybe even some type of old world AI uh, being used back then. But uh, it more than likely, uh, from what I would understand looking at this image, my first impression or inclination would be that this is the Colossus of Rhodes. Now, Mind you, the, he actually looks fleshy here, meaning alive, not a stone rendition or just some foot pegs left over. Maybe this is how the original depiction of the Colossus of Rhodes was originally, or maybe this is has a more, which I do think is going on here as well, or it could be a combination of two answers, being that it has a more alchemical outlook on this image itself, um, being the overlaid overtone of the hand signs, the different symbolism, but in the smoke he's holding in his hand. Like I said, these images are a little harder to see with the holographic effect they have over them, but I digress. Let's move forward. Come on! There we go. Sorry about the low times, guys. Yes, yes, marzipan. Fascinating information. Uh, this last one uh, is a little bit more blurry, but yeah, this almost looks to me like uh, an old world city. You have a lot of spires going on in the background. Um, this looks like a church cath cathedral, quote unquote, right? Cathode being the root word there, using a little bit of etymology. And uh, you gotta ask yourself, you know, after going through literally this whole set of slides here um what exactly is the purpose of specifically having those images in this picture or map why would this be in a map it's got to have more actual uh, meaning to it than just for decorative purposes right because we don't make maps like this anymore so that being said, uh, I want everyone to kind of go back through that if they can. Maybe they can find something uh, interesting that they, they can discover. And uh, I want to start trying to drop more screen share content on my laptop. I think we can uh, have a lot better live streams maybe on YouTube, start getting my YouTube channel blown up more, and uh, really just trying to get that, that message out there of alternative information, or as I like to call it, the truth, because most truth is alternative, because... We live in a world of lies nowadays. But with that being said, this is Philomath or Flat Out Truth underscore 92 on TikTok signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next video.